Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. I have a camping scenario today that I think all of you couples out there can relate to. You're on vacation, so you pack up the RV and you head out on a new adventure. You arrive at your favorite campground. You get checked in and you go to the site only to realize it's not a drive through site. That dreaded moment has arrived, backing into the site. You look at your wife and she looks back at you with a worried look on her face. You both remember the last time this happened. Well, the good news is neither of you have to start your well-deserved vacation arguing over who's to blame about backing the RV into the picnic table. Here's a few tips to help make backing into the site less stressful. First, determine who will drive and who will spot. Remember, the spotter will be the eyes and ears and is responsible for getting the RV positioned where you want it. Next, decide what works best for both of you, using hand signals or using walkie-talkies to maneuver the RV into the campsite. If you decide to use hand signals, discuss what those signals are prior to backing so there is no confusion. Turn the radio off and roll the windows down so you can see and hear during the backing maneuver. Walk the site prior to backing in. You can place cones along the path to help with visibility and in determining when and where to start making turns. The spotter needs to remember that the pivot point is the center of the axles on the trailer. This is the point where the trailer will turn when backing into the site. Possibly the best advice I can offer is for the spotter to stand towards the front of the vehicle where the driver can see and hear the spotter. If the spotter wants the rear of the trailer to go to their right, they instruct the driver to turn the wheel to the right. If the spotter wants the rear of the trailer to go to their left, they instruct the driver to turn the wheel to the left. Backing a trailer takes practice. The more you practice together, the more proficient you'll become. The two most common problems are turning the steering wheel too much and holding it in the turn position for too long. Don't be concerned about having to pull up and start the backing maneuver over again. Be patient, communicate together, and practice, practice, practice. These are the keys to a healthy RV backing marriage. These are some short excerpts from our Drive Like a Pro and Tow Like a Pro DVD titles. To learn more about your RV, visit www.rveducation101.com. Happy camping.